Welcome, welcome, VIP members, learnautobodyandpaint.com. Tonight's going to be a pretty cool night. We're going to show you some live color sanding and buffing, like I said last week. So, pretty, pretty cool night. Here is the project. I kind of got started on it for you just a little while ago. Uh, pretty much sanded half of the hood in about 15, not even 15 minutes, 10 minutes. All right, and uh, the other half we didn't do, and I'm gonna give you a before and after on this. I don't think I'm gonna be buffing out the whole thing. Maybe, maybe we'll have enough time to do that, but I don't wanna bore you guys either. Uh, we do have some imperfections here, and we are sanding them out. And I'm gonna go through both processes right now. Uh, we're gonna be on for the next 30 to 40 minutes or so. So, you're frozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, George, you should have gotten a thank you email uh, after you ordered, and that should have all your details. If not, go to the site and just click on contact support, and you can basically uh, ask support for some help. I got two girls on. They're on right now actually doing some stuff. All right. So can everybody hear me tonight? How is the video and the audio coming in? Quickly, give me some feedback. I wanna make sure the audio and video is good before we get started. And again, where is everybody from? Shout out some places where you're from, and I will start reading some names out really quickly. Voice is good, thank you, Zach. George says thank you, thank you, George. Uh, George, again, email support. They will take care of you and make sure you get in. Zach says video is stuck. Uh, click on the live button, guys, to refresh because it should be okay. Everything's looking good on my end. What's up, Paul? Says both, both are good. Very clear. Toronto in the house. Tony Baz. Juan Hernandez from Hollington, Texas. Do you re recommend Plasti Dip? New Hampshire, Arizona, Southern MD. Sound is great. Video is a little shaky because I am, I'm actually holding the video. The baby's okay right now, Don. Thank you so much. VIP, Kailua, Hawaii. Awesome, Kevin. Got you now, Tony. Jonathan, Fayetteville, North Carolina, VIP. Reno, sounds good and clear. Working, working. Second time here from where? From where? San Antonio, Minnesota. Eric from Jordan. Jordanton. Jordanton. Great job, sir. Florida in the house. Phoenix. Larry Smith from Texacana. Benny, Colorado, awesome, awesome. Guys, you are incredible. All right, so again, tonight, we're gonna be doing some quick color sanding and buffing. I have everything laid out here, all right? We have my DA, and um, this, is, this is doing it the cheat way. Let me make sure we, guys, we got some good lighting here. I'm doing it the cheat way, all right? Um, I used to basically color sand and buff all by hand, basically blocking out all the panels by hand. All right, it's a more tedious process, it takes more time, but you are sure to get a good job. All right, you can't, you can't screw up if you're going by hand. But if you know how to use the DA, right, you could basically cut your, your learning process, that, not your, your cutting process down a lot quicker by using a DA. And the, the, the reason why I like to dry sand is because you can see what you're cutting almost instantaneously as soon as the dust is, dust is gone, all right? So I'm using a 1500 grit with a Velcro pad. Let me show you some, let me set the camera down and I'm gonna show you what's going on. One sec. Right here, I'm back. All right, so if we go here. All right, so I got our DA here. Every time I refresh, you are froze. We should be good. All right. Everybody, are you guys with me so far? Give me some feedback. I wanna make sure everybody's seeing this. Everybody's seeing this. Give me some feedback quickly. 
froze up. We should be good. Everything looks good on my end here. Good Y right now. Everybody says, okay, great. So I have my DA. I'm using a 1500 grit Velcro pad. And the reason why I like Velcro is because... is because if you wet it, if you decide to wet sand with it, you're not gonna mess up the, the sticky paper, right? So I like to use Velcro. All right, I got 1500 grit on my pad here. And I like to do the initial with this, just to cut it down. I'm gonna show you some, some examples right now. And then I like to wash it down quickly with 2000 grit, water sand. So right here you can see I got 2,000 grit water sand and I'm going to wash it down. So it's got you back. Everybody, it looks like the connection's kind of in and out right now. Maybe we should move over a little bit, but I don't want to screw things up. You're good. Everybody's saying we're good now. <clears throat> All right, if you guys haven't, please like the video right now. Like the video if you haven't right now, and then we'll get started. <clears throat> okay, let me show you what's going on here. I want to make sure, thanks for the like everybody, thank you for the like. I want to make sure you guys are seeing this now, I'm streaming this from my laptop computer, so I don't know how good and how clear it's going to look, but can you see these little imperfections here? Can you see this orange peely effect? That's what we want to take out when we're sanding. We want it to look like this, where it's like matte matte flat okay you guys understanding this if you guys understand please type yes so i know what you're what's going on here i need some feedback i want to make sure you guys are seeing this can you guys see some of this imperfection in here can you see that Let's try it this way Okay, can you see these areas in here? And guys, if this is kind of blurry, in VIP, everything is HD. And I zoom down and everything, everything's nice HD video. So join VIP and you're gonna get absolutely clear videos on all of this here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and sand these out, dry sand, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys can see this. I may have to do it this way. Hold on a second. This is so tough doing it like this. Let's see what let's see what you guys can see here. Let's see what you see. Okay. This might be better. Now, you see, you see the orange peely area? Orange peely, right? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this out with this really quickly, 1500 grit, okay? Up in here as well. You can see that. So let's do that. <laughs>
I'm going to use some old baby clothes here, and I'm going to wipe, and you're going to see what it looks like after I wipe this. Okay. All right, so this is what I want to show you. Okay, so this mat area here, this is all done. This is good. All right, we're going to still wash it down with 2000 grit, but we got all of our orange peel sand it out it's nice and flat over here where we didn't really go you can see the orange peel right all along this line here that's basically what you're sanding out you want to sand down all the high mountains okay and make it get flat like this this is what you want right here okay and you could sand out all the imperfections that even if you have a little bit of dust or whatever it is and again in VIP, we have a lot better video quality than this. This is just, I'm just doing this on the fly um, on YouTube Live here, okay? So, our next step right now is I am going to. The next step right now is I'm going to wash it down with 2000 grit and I'm going to go here and I'm going to reply to some questions uh, really quickly. Man, I'm afraid I was cutting too deep. Uh, yeah, we put two coats of heavy clear on here. And you guys got to remember 1500 grit, freaking bugs, 1500 grit is very, very fine. So you have to be in one spot for a long time to cut through to cut through and you got to remember this is more of an advanced strategy here if you feel uncomfortable of using the DA I really urge you of going by hand and just blocking it out with water sanding just getting your block where's my block I had my block around here somewhere anyway I had my block I don't have it but just use a block and block sand it out slowly. All right. Uh, 
it looks like I kind of got stopped really quickly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and what water sand really quickly right now. Let me get a, a taller box. Okay, that should be better. And now we're going to get 2,000 grit. And the, and the main thing with this is, is you want to make sure, see the video is not that great, but you want to make sure you take out the haze. Because right now when we wet it, it looks hazy. Okay, there's a haze to it. But as we wet sand, and I'm just going to use my palm, and I'm going to wet sand with my palm here. And we're going to do this whole side of the hood, and we're going to buff it out really quickly. Okay? It starts to get to a nice green color. And I wish I had my block. Let me see where the hell my block is. Got it. Okay, so I'm just using a holy block. All right? I'm going to go ahead and put this on like this, and we're just going to go ahead and block this out very quickly because we want to finish it off with 2,000 grit before we start to basically color sand and buff it out, all right? A lot easier with the block. Okay, we want to take the haze out and we want to make sure it looks like the actual paint color when it's wet. That's when you know you sanded enough with your 2000 grit. Okay, and what I'm doing here is I'm actually using the edge of the block as well. You really want to take your time with this if you want it to come out nice. But I really don't want to bore you guys on here tonight just sanding like this. So I'm just kind of rushing it, getting it done quickly. And you see the hump here? There's a hump. So I'm going to, I'm going to go on an angle on the hump like this because that's the only real way to do it. Okay? So you go up and down the hump and you're using the, the corner of your block here. Then you could switch up your paper like this, switch it up from here to here to get a new fine grip, close it up, wet it down again, and just keep cranking. Okay, so I'm just going to basically sand out what I sanded really quickly. We'll be done in just a couple of minutes here. Let me get up up here a little bit more. How is the uh, the video? Is the video pretty good? No, I'm not using any kind of soap at all. How do you know if you got rid of all the 15 scratches of 2000? Like I said, it start you you start to see the color of your paint. And let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I wet down my panel. And if you take a look here, you can see that this is done. You can see it's nice and green. Okay? But if you look here, it still look ha it looks hazy. You guys see the haziness? Right? But watch. As I, as I sand it out, we're going to get rid of that 1500 like this. You see how it's disappearing? That's enough. You see how it all disappeared? Okay, now... It's actually the green of the paint. It's the color. We're, we got rid of the haze. If we look in here, we still have that haze. And it might be a little difficult for you to see like this, but when you join VIP or if you have our VIP course, you could actually see what I'm talking about. And it's very easy to see, actually. It's not a, it's not a complicated thing to see if, 
if, you, if you're down to 2,000 from 15. You could see it, all right? So let me just finish this up. We're just about done with our 2,000 here. <clears throat> you could tell with the water on it. You can tell. Okay? I like dry sanding in the beginning because you could see exactly what you're cutting, and I like to finish it with 2,000 wet. This is a strategy I came up with years ago, and it works really, really well. Like I said, as you do auto body, you're gonna come up with your own little tips and shortcuts and tricks, and this is the stuff I like to pass along to my VIP guys. <clears throat> okay, so you guys ready to see this hood turn out like glass? We're gonna start buffing in just a little bit. Sometimes I like to go in a circular motion when I'm finishing off. Little circular motion here. Okay, like you're washing a baby's butt. I'm gonna show you how this sucker looks dry. We're gonna dry it off in just a bit. And we're gonna buff it to a pro shine. And you guys are gonna love this. It's gonna look good. There's flake in this clear coat, so you're gonna really see the flake pop. All right, I think that's just about enough. I'm gonna put a little bit more water on it. Rinse it out. Okay. So half of our hood is basically done, ready to be buffed out. Let me see. Looks okay to me. Looks okay. I could probably spend another minute, but I think we're fine. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to dry this off very, very quickly. Okay, that'll air dry in just a second, and we're gonna be able to see it dry up. I'm gonna get my buffer ready. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna wait for that to dry, and we're gonna talk a little bit, move the light on the other side of the car. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully this is this this lighting will be better here. You're gonna basically see everything drying up. All right, you see the air drying everything up now. How is the lighting? Is the lighting a little bit better? Lighting better, guys? Oh, well, you know what? Let me turn one of my main lights on. I had one of my main lights off. Sorry about that. I use it on the flat surface on some areas. Some areas I use the edge to dig in to get, to cut it down quicker and to also cut down some of the imperfections in the paint. All right? There's a strategy behind everything here. So now, if we take a look at it like this, you can see that it's all nice and flat matte and we basically took out pretty much all of the imperfections. 
Okay, if we look here, you can see what it looks like to have some orange peel, right? That we, we basically took off this whole side of the hood here. Okay, even the front, everything. All right, now let's talk about uh, the buffing pad really quickly. I'm using a wool buffing pad, okay? Uh, I get it over at buffandshine.com very soon. Uh, we are going to be selling these at the shop. You're going to be able to get great prices on them. What I like to do is I like to clean my buffer before I get started. And you could get those little buffer cleaners with the little wheel. I forgot what you call them, but I've never used them. I basically just use a screwdriver. Yo, for everybody on here right now, click the like button if you haven't clicked the like button. We just hit 100 people. I just saw that. So let me put my mask on because this is some pretty toxic shit. I mean, it's not, yeah, I guess you could say it's pretty toxic. You don't want to be breathing any of this stuff when you're buffing. So be sure to wear a mask. Thank you for the likes, by the way. Well, you got the yellow wool and then you got the white wool. This is more of a general purpose, a little more coarse. The yellow is a little bit more softer, okay? So this is how I like to clean my pad. This is what I'll do, quick. Turn it off. Nice and clean. All right, buffer is ready to go. Now I'm gonna be using Auto Magic. Okay, this is the one I'm using, number 110, Power Cut Plus. Pretty good shit. I like to use a paint stick to put it on. This is what I do. Hey, we want to do little sections at a time, preferably a one by one square one by two square. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on our panel here. Hope you guys can see this. How, how, can you guys see this okay? Uh, I have a Hitachi buffer. I bought this buffer when I was about 17 or 18 years old. Uh, it's lasted me a long, long time. Hitachi SP18 volt goes up to 3,400 RPM. Uh, when we're buffing like this, we usually buff it around 17 to 1,800 RPM. This is way too high. I like to start it. I like to start it at the lowest setting when I'm just getting the compound into the paint. I like to start it at about 1400 RPM. Once I get it on, I'll raise it up to about 17, 1700, 1800 uh, RPM. So let's go ahead and do our first coat here, okay?
another another tip as you it rotates clockwise when you're holding it like this okay it rotates clockwise you want to make sure when you're buffing you're buffing off the edge it has to be buffing off the edge so if you notice I'm buffing like this watch If you buff off the edge, you're not going to grab the corner of your, your body panel, right? You don't want to buff this way because you're going to get stuck. It's going to burn the paint. You're going to have a big problem. You always want to buff using the right side here off the edge, okay? That's a, that's a big tip there. I'm going to put more compound on it. You need at least two times.
gonna clean my pad. Okay, so that's pretty much step one. Okay, we didn't get all of it by the top of the hood area, but I just want to show you what this looks like so far. Okay, now what we want to do is put our second now you gotta make sure that this process is pretty much glossy. If this doesn't look glossy, you have to basically do it a little bit more. You gotta put more compound on it and do it a little bit more. So what should we look at here? If you could see the light, you could see how glassy that looks now. Can you see the light in the reflection? I'm trying to hold it there for you. Yeah, well, this is how it's looking. So you can see that the gloss is pretty much there now. Got a nice high gloss to it, okay? Now we're gonna hit it with the foam pad very quickly. I could, I could actually buff it out a little bit more, but, you know, again, I don't wanna bore you too much on here all night. So we're gonna go ahead and put the foam pad on and buff out a section with the foam pad, all right? Step two, foam pad. Right now, I'm still using the 3M Perfect It. Swirl mark remover. Now, this process is a easier, quicker process. Okay, let's see how the video looks there. And we're just going to go ahead and do this swirl mark remover. A little bit more.
All right, guys, guys, you need to remember, you need to remember this is a very, very quick process. I didn't spend a lot of time on this tonight, but it came out pretty good, okay? Obviously, I could have spent more time on it, but I didn't want to bore you with 20 minutes of sanding, 20 minutes of this and that, all right? But this is how it looks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray a little bit of... little bit of mystic wax on it very quickly and I can show you kind of what the finished product looks like very quickly compared to the other side of the hood Okay, done deal, finished product. I could have spent more time on it, but I'll show, like, this gives you an idea of the complete process here. And how it looks okay so take a look hopefully the lighting is okay okay you could see it's a lot more glossier even if I mean we could look at our reflection here you could see the computer you could see my face Okay, compared to this side, we got a little, you know, some orange peely looky. You can see it. Okay, obviously, you can look at the light on that side, right? You can see the light. It's, it's, still, it's still glossy, but it's orange peely. This side, the light is a lot more clear. You can see the light a lot more clear. Okay, and it feels really good. It feels nice and smooth. So that's basically how you want to do it all right once this thing's out in the sun it's gonna to look totally different uh, I wish it was under my lights a little bit more but there is a difference between both sides gloss wise now if you could see it okay but basically that's how you color sand and buff right you want to take a little bit more time sand it out nicely but I just wanted to do this one quickly for you tonight so you could see the process okay our original paint I mean it looks pretty good right it's not that bad but when you color sand and buff it, it looks a lot better. Especially if you take your time, especially if you take your time and you do it right, your car will look really, really nice. You know, it's just how much time do you want to put into it? You know, how, how nice do you want to make it? It's all up to you. Okay? Yo, what's up, Mr. Ronnie Flores? How you doing, brother? Hope all is well. Does it take a long time to do show quality? Probably take you, if you're going to do it by hand, you can do it right. It might take you a couple days to, to water sand it, and it might take you a couple days to buff it if you really want to make it look good. You know, three, three days to, to sand it, three, four days to really sand it out perfecto, and you take your time in another three days to buff it out really good. 
after compound polish, do you still get haze? What am I doing wrong? You're not buffing enough. You're not buffing with your compound enough. Your haze has to come out with this process, with the buffing compound process. All right, and then the swirl mark remover will basically brighten up everything. And like when I feel this thing, like when you look at it like this, it looks, it's super glossy now. Super, super glossy. And it feels really good. You know, obviously I could have put a little bit more time in it and buffed it out, sanded it out, put more time in it. But again, I will probably end up re-sanding it anyway. Uh, and buffing it out because I want to finish this car. So I'm just not going to stop. I'm going to finish sanding the whole thing out within the next couple of days and then buff the whole thing out and just get it done. Make it look really, really good. All right. So that was the show for tonight. I want to thank everybody for getting on. Thank you so much, uh, Ronnie. Thank you so much, Hank Scott, uh, Jonathan Smith, everyone on here. Thank you so much for getting on tonight. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, there might have been some questions that I didn't answer because of me actually doing some work here and not looking at the chat. Uh, but, again, we'll get to your questions again on the next one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty simple process, um, especially if you take shortcuts. You know what I mean? You could basically use the DA like I want. Again, if you're a total newbie with this, guys, yes, you will be happy. We had 103 on that I saw. If you guys, you know, are not confident in using the DA like I just did, again, take your time. Put, you know, you could even start with a thousand grit. You know, if you're total newbie, you could start with a thousand, but you have to work your way down to at least, to at least two thousand grit to buff it out really nice. All right. Um, I wouldn't, I really would not recommend sanding finer than a thousand grit because a thousand cuts really quickly. You know, if you start going with 800, no, no. Like I never use 800 to cut. I mean, I've never had orange peel that bad or that much clear on a car to, to use 800. Thousand, 1200 max. Then you go down to 15. Then you wash it out with 2000. You could even overkill it. You could even overkill it and wash it out with uh, 2,500 if you want to, but I think 2,000 grit final wet sand is plenty enough to basically get it ready for buffing, all right? And if you see little scratches in, in your finished job, if you see little scratches of the sand scratches, put more compound on it and keep buffing it out because the job of the compound and the pad and the buffer is to basically melt your clear scratches together. You're melting everything together, right, which gives it that shine. So if you see little scratches in it, it means you need to buff it out more. You may need to go over it with 2,000 grit again in a circular motion to take the little scratches out, right? Sometimes when you're blocking, you'll get like a line, like a scratch through it. When in your finished job, you see like a sand scratch. You're like, what the heck, right? So you want to make sure you go back again. It's fine. You're going to you just do the process over again. Just go over what you did and just start sanding. You're going to sand the compound and wax off and everything. You're not going to, you know, it doesn't matter. You're not painting it again, right? So you could just sand it and then rebuff it if you have to. Okay, but overall, you can see a big difference between that end and this end. We need to finish up the hood. Now I have to buff the rest of the car out because now it doesn't even look nearly as good. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys on uh, next week at the Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP show to answer some of your questions and all of that. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Ronnie likes 2,500. You can go 2,500. You guys can go here to get the free manual if you have not. Some of you first-timer newbies, go there. Also, check out the VIP course. And I will see you on next week. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Richard, Ronnie.
thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate it, bud. Um, thank you, Thomas. Alf, don't worry about it. Watch the replay. But I know it's nothing like being on live. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll see you on next week, same time. Um, who knows what we'll be talking about. We'll be talking about something about cars. Have a great day, guys. Good night. Cheers, guys. Good night, good night, good night.